This is the real Tom Rose. The trick to dealing with function problems on the SAT is to understand how functions work. So when they give you a function such as f of x equals x plus 1 squared, and then they give you a strange notation such as f of 9. What they're indicating is 9 is the input. And what I mean by input is 9 is the value that you should plug in for x. The output is whatever you get. So the output will be this, the answer at the end of that equation. And let me show you an example. Um, we actually have been asked for f of 9. So let's calculate that. f of 9 will equal, and I'm going to just take 9 and drop it in to the x in the function that we were given, 9 plus 1 squared. That equals 10 squared, which equals 100. Um, let's also calculate f of 5, which we've also been asked for. Um, again, I'm just going to plug 5 in for the x in the function we were given and simplify. So we end up with 6 squared, which is equal to 36. Now we've actually been asked to find um, which answer choice is equivalent to f of 9 minus f of 5. But we can plug in the values that we got to yield 100 minus 36 is equal to 64. And now it becomes a hunting game. Which of the following answer choices is equal to 64? Um, you can plug these in in reverse if you want and just check them all. Or I'm going to do something slightly different, which is I'm going to say, uh, I'm actually going to run this same game in reverse. Instead of plugging in for x, I'm just going to plug 64 in for for f. So let me put 64 over here. Because now 64 is actually the output. So 64 should equal x plus 1 squared. I'm going to take the square root of both sides. And we're looking for 8 equals x plus 1. Actually, plus or minus 8. Let's subtract 1 from both sides. And we're actually looking for uh, 8 minus 1 is 7. Negative 8 minus 1 is negative 9. Those are the two possible values for the input. right? So this, in this case, from here down, we actually started with the output and backed out the input. When we were up above, we were using the input, 9, and figuring out the output. It turns out, uh, the input variable we want is either 7 or negative 9, and we have one of 7. That's answer choice B.